Let's move now next to SAPI. Okay, so this is the other equation, what Wayne was referring to there. They stuck to their guns and largely remain a company that is focused on that fine coated paper environment. So that's stuff that gets used in annual reports, glossy magazines, Vogue magazine, Harper's and Bazaar, that kind of thing. You see, they never get any thinner, those magazines. It's got Scott paper in the United States. It's a global player in that market, also big in Europe. To be fair to them, though, they are diversifying into a new line of business, which is chemical cellulose, which is used in manufacturing of all sorts of other products, including some of the sports apparel nowadays. It's a company with a lot of debt, but it has done well in recent times, despite the fact that I thought it was definitely not hot and have said so for a long time. You want to see what the share price looks like. Market cap has risen recently to 25.2 billion rand. Price to earnings ratio is still pretty low, 10.17. Dividend yield, they have paid dividends. The most recent payout suggests a yield of 3.38%. So, Wayne, I mean, I was very skeptical, mm. but people were right a, to be positive about this look, one. Look, this is a seriously interesting company. Mm. Not that many years ago, this thing almost went bankrupt. Mm. The debt almost killed it. They had to do, was it 2007? They had to do a rights issue at giveaway prices. They yeah. had to get capital in. Otherwise, it literally was going bankrupt. They have recovered, and I suppose the most important number there is the dividend yield of 3%. Mm. It means there is a dividend they're generating cash flows. Mm. Very different approach to Mondi. They said, we're sticking to glossy paper. Mm -hmm. And Eugene van Us at that stage, starting many years ago, probably two decades ago, went and bought virtually every paper mill that made glossy paper in the world. He went to the UK, bought a few yep. mills there, went to America, bought mills there, went to Europe, bought As more As a there. consolidator in a declining market yeah, in he, Europe. He tried to consolidate yeah. in a declining market. I mean, half their mills are closed because of environmental issues, mm. specifically in the US and, and in Europe. And that seemed to be the approach in some instances, by the company shut it down yeah. in order to then try and sustain prices. Then they made a huge acquisition 2004, big mill in Europe. MRL. Yeah. Yep. And they just wanted to go and they just closed mm. it to mm. try and gain market share. And that almost bankrupted the company. But under new management, they've gone into this chemical cellular. Rolf Burger was the manager yes. for a while now. Steve Binney, who I yes. think is a lifer with the company, if I'm yes. not, not yeah. mistaken. Yeah. But Rolf actually turned it, you know. Yeah. And now they invested heavily in South Africa in the chemical cellulose. Yeah. And effectively that's their growth. Mm. The, the paper Although is still declining. It's chemical cellulose, to be fair, is still a small ish part oh, yes, of the very total. Small. It's profits, only about like 50 20 on 20 yeah, or something yeah. now. Yeah. Still about 20%. And fine that market itself is fairly competitive. Yeah. Mm. But fine paper mm. is still 50% of their business. Yeah. And fine paper, I don't know, it's tough to call because some people will say, look, you know, people are only going to want to look at stuff on their iPads now. But it doesn't look, seem entirely true. <laughs> look, I, I think it's probably quite similar to smoking. It's not going to disappear <laughs> tomorrow, but I think it's in a steady 2 yeah. 3% decline. You know, when you look. 15, 20 years ago, you went to the bookstore or the, or, or, or the cafe to buy a magazine and there was one car magazine, mm. one female magazine, one house magazine. Mm -hmm. Now there's 50 car magazines. Yeah. So the, the industry has diversified into very specialist areas, but overall volumes are actually down because mm. more people are reading mm. on their iPads. Mm. And mm. I mean, I can remember where e every week all the portfolio managers got a financial mail. Yep. Now you buy one and you put it in the coffee table because yep. you've got the information yeah. already. Yeah, and that's got to have some long-term yes, impact. Yes, definitely. However, you're wrong. I mean, look, put that share price chart up there again to show Strong how wrong recovery. I've been because people who particularly bought it below 20 rands or thereabouts in 2013 are loving the fact that it's now at 50. Yeah, or just I mean, below it comes 50. from 140 eh? it, true. in the old days. It's true. So it's not been a very successful no. investment over a 25 year Definitely span, not. but it was wrong to count it out and think it was yeah. a they, liquidation they made, risk. They made the right things. And they Plus, got the, the debt, debt of course, is huge, pretty problematic, a lot of it in Europe, but we know that at the moment debt is priced at the lowest level compared to all of yeah. time since and, the Egyptians. And they've just refinanced their debt, and I think yeah. they pay a coupon of 3%. I mean, imagine any company in South Africa being able to raise yeah, capital at yeah, 3%. So there's that too. So perhaps some of this recovery in the share price is just because of the de-stressing yeah. of the debt yeah. and the sense that sales haven't been too yeah. awful. But hot or not? I can't be hot here. You know, mm. when you read their financials, there's always some adjustment. I mean, they made a $45 million gain on a pension fund reconversion. And then they've mm. got the forestry conversions. I mean, you just look at their numbers and it's hard to interpret. I would say not hot. 
So you still think it's in that zone where they could, you know, have an execution problem and then yeah. the market could uh, get grumpy again. Yeah, it, mm. it's, just, it's just too variable, quite frankly. Okay, I'm going to go with that theory as well. So I'm going to go not hot.